If you're ready, we're ready. We appreciate the fact that as citizens, we have the right to express ourselves through constructive criticisms, opinions, views, ideas, peaceful protests, dialogue, engagements, to make those in constituted authorities listen and do our biddings towards national development and peaceful coexistence on the basis of mutual respect. About three weeks ago, Nigerians have been on the street protesting over zealousness of some operatives of the Federal Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SAS. These protests carried out by Nigerians are in line with democratic tenets when there are unlawful operations, activities and actions that infringes on the fundamental human right of citizens. We appreciate the fact that Nigerians are by the day getting aware of their right as citizens and demand justice according to the law. We have also seen that the protesters have had their way as the Buhari-led administration have listened to their call and to ban SARS on Sunday, which was pronounced by the Inspector General of Police, IGP Mohammed Adamu, which demonstrated respect for the voice of Nigerians. We want to first seize this opportunity to formally commend the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, for his capacity and competence in managing the protest so far and the formation of the Novel's Special Weapon and Tactics Team, SWAT. Units set up to tackle all incidences of fraud, armed robbery, and other criminality across the country. We believe it will be a better improved, well-organized version of the dissolved SARS. We urge the IGP to continue to put measures in place to evolve a people-friendly and humane Nigerian police force for guaranteed policing and rid the nation of all forms of criminality and crimes. We also thank the IGP for heeding to the call on reform to subject police officers to psychological and medical examination and enhanced trainings. We want to also clear the air that SWAT team are not personnel of the defunct SAS. They are experienced officers of the Nigerian police force who are going to be given good trainings and orientation, state-of-the-art technological equipment, use of drones and body-worn cameras to facial recognition software and artificial intelligence. On the ongoing protests across the country, we want to unequivocally state at this junction that the dimension the protesters have assumed is really becoming worrisome because we see that the protests have been hijacked and other actions are seemingly described as unbecoming and threats to national security. We have ob observed and want to state that the protesters are now dominated by criminals in the society who have resorted to violence. Recently, protesters have been assaulting security agents, especially officers of the Nigerian force. Many of them have been Many of them have been attacked and injured by hoodlums who are hiding under the guise of protest. We refer to the reported case in Delta, Lagos State, where policemen were injured killed and injured. They have been burning down of, and destruction of police stations and illegally dismantling roadblocks. This indeed is an affront to the President of Nigeria and the Nigerian Constitution. You will recall the attack on a police station in Sapele where hoodlums skated away with AK-47 and 25 rounds of ammunition. Protesters also laid seize on anti-kidnapping unit office of the command, Lagos Command and kidnapped and released two kidnapped suspects, and in the process, Inspector A.K. Joshua, Inspector Peter Akabi, Inspector Henry Folami Ayodeji, who is late now, were shot and critically injured, currently at the intensive care unit of Lasu Teaching Hospital. This, is, this has also occurred in Ogun State and Oyo State. The burning down of police stations and outposts is a criminal, is criminal and act of terrorism which threatens our national security. Protesters are now being sponsored by political enemies. 
From our intelligence gathering, there are politicians who have taken advantage of the protests to sponsor violence across the country in order to create an atmosphere of chaos and uprising, in order to overheat the policy and make the country ungovernable so that they can score cheap political points that the government lacks the capacity to keep the country peacefully. Protests gradually turning into anarchy. With the way the protest is going across the country, there is a gradual slide and slip into anarchy. This is indeed worrisome because it may snowball into what might consume the entire nation. Fake news on protest and other unfunded stories. Since the protest started, there have been high level of fake news on social media to create unnecessary tension pitching Nigerians against the government and creating civil disobedience to law and order. This is very dangerous for our country. Currently, the protest, in a way, has demoralized and drained the security agents to a great extent, and this might lead to low performance in the fight against criminalities and criminals. This will worsen the current insecurity challenges we are grappling with. We see this as a ploy to destabilize the operation of security agents and to free criminals in police custody and to trample our law against criminalities. We have a simple and straight demand at this point. We demand a total ban of all street protests immediately by the government because if this is not done, what the country will witness in coming days will not be palatable based on the above fact we have stated. We call on Nigerians to see reasons arise up to stop the protests because their demands have been met by dissolving the SARS and other five demands are all met by the police authorities on the orders of President Muhammad Buhari. We want President Muhammad Buhari to do the needful before it gets out of hands. We, all, we are also bona fide Nigerians who don't want this non-politically motivated protest to affect others negatively. Thank you for listening. God bless you.